Hello, hello. So this video is just a um, quick um, guide through the Blender file that you're going to find on the Blender market on my gum route for the spread solder. That, by the way, is the same uh, setups that uh, I went through in my simulation notes and spread solver course. So you can also check that out. But yeah, if you if you don't want to follow the whole course and you just want to use the setup, you can just get them. And yeah, um, it's, a, it's a quick guide because if you don't understand and you don't know what's going on under the hood, uh, then you will find some problems and this video will help you really quick on how to solve them and how to learn how to control properly the solver and get the results that you want. So once that you open the Blender file that I'm going to provide you, you are going to see something like this. That is just basically a showing what you are getting. Uh, over here we have just the basic spread solver. I wanted to just quickly guide you through it. So, because if, if you don't know anything about it, you're going to find some problems if you check it. So now we will check the, the geometry now setup of the of the spread solver. Um, first we will find here a switch. And this switch is really important because it it's it's for, it will help us to debug the, the solver. Um, if I will click here, what I will see is a point distribution. And this point distribution is really important because it's basically what is entering into the solder. Uh, if you don't have enough points, the solver won't work. If you have a lot, it will work really slowly. So you need to find a balance. Uh, the radius of visualization is basically how, how big or small are the particles for you. Yes, it doesn't really change anything. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so could you need to have a, imagine like you would have a density field of 10. As I said, it won't work. Cool. Uh, now the search distance is also a really important parameter that if it's not if it's not correct, it, it won't work. So now you see 0, 0.08, and it basically tells how close every point needs to search for the, around the for the close for the other points around uh, to see if they are already for see the temperature needs to to be spread to it. Uh, if it's really small, it won't work. So uh, let me just turn off the switch so I can see something. Uh, see, if I would put like now the search distance of zero, it's just not going to work because there is just not points to search around. If I would put it really big, it will just spread out immediately. So you need to find a balance that depends on your geometry of the values that you like. The fuel is basically how fast the points are warming. So if I would put like here like point zero one, imagine, you see, it's, it, 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 uh, it heats really slow. We need even to, to set like more. Yeah. Um then the limit temperature it will it will basically change how fast the effect is going. So if I would like as bigger as if it gets bigger, it's slower. And if it gets here, if I will, if it gets closer to one, it spreads faster. Yeah. Uh, now use noise here. This switch is basically for spreading with noises. If I will, if I will click it, so no noise, it just spreads in a circle. I'm going to one second increase the fuel. So yeah, you can see now that it spreads in a circle. And if I will click it, it will spread with a noise. The noise. Is controlled by these parameters that are just like the, the regular parameters of a noise. So you don't need to, I'm not going to go through them. It's just like the scale, the detail, roundness. And here is also for laying the material, just for plugging the material that you want to use here. Okay, that's one. Now the spread solver with particles. It has, the starting is the same, so it's the same behavior, but over here you have parameters for the particles. So for example, the the life so for example if I put like here in my point five they just die super fast um one second I'm going to put the visualizer by the way you have already in the in the geometry no set as a, a visualizer prepared so you can look at the, the temperature uh, really easily so yeah as I say here like the particles are going to die super fast um yeah the minimum mass and also the radius of these particles how big or small you want them uh, then also the, the the velocity that you want them to have uh, yeah and then some and then these are the noises of how they spread so 
like when they leave the surface, if they follow an, a noise pattern. If I would like, let me increase some second light, the light, and I would like increase the scale. See now, a day. Let's change a bit. Cool. Uh, yeah, then you have again this this noise parameters. Um, yeah. And then the material of the object again, and the and the material of the particles, and then just the and then here is the grass that is just like a again just like it's just a show of like you can just open it and look around. Uh, let me just yeah, you can just open it and check out what's going on. Here it is, grass growth. Then you can just see and you can probably modify it because it's not it's not complete in its, in its work but it's just for giving an idea well so that's it if you have any questions anyway just please contact me and yeah uh, let me know what's going on thank you very much ciao, ciao.